Hi everyone, welcome to this Help Scout training video. Today we're excited to take a look at the brand new Help Scout Inbox. It's super cool, super easy to use. We're excited to show it to you today, so that's what this video is all about. Now, if you don't have your Help Scout account yet, first of all, why not? Help Scout is amazing, okay? But if you still haven't signed up yet, please use our referral link, digitalsuccess.link forward slash help scout. You can get a free trial, no credit card required for that free trial. And you'll get a $50 discount when you do upgrade to either the monthly plan or the yearly plan. So with the monthly plan and that $50 discount is applied, you actually get your first two months of help scout for free. If you apply that discount to the yearly plan, you can get your entire first year of help scout for only 190 bucks. Pretty awesome. So right now we're inside of our mailbox and this is an important thing to note right from the start is that currently it's called your mailbox. They're going to change the name to the Help Scout inbox. So it's a slight change there. So right now you're in your mailbox and then when we switch over we're going to be switching over to the inbox. Here's a message we have in our mailbox let's click on it to open it and right away you're going to see that the current message or the the newest message is always going to be on the top in the mailbox as it currently is right now okay so we'll show you the difference here in a minute but right now notice that all of your new messages are on the top also here is the note button it's the pencil icon when you click on that, it enables you to create an internal message with any member of your team. No one else can see that message. Your customer can't see it. No one else on your team can see it. This is a way for you to communicate directly with someone else on your team to resolve whatever issue or to ask questions or whatever you need to do before you reply back to your customer. When you're ready to reply to your customer, you just click on the reply button or this little arrow icon here and that opens up the message editor and the first thing we want to show you is this search bar and this toolbar because these are going to disappear when we look at the new inbox you'll see what I mean for right now this is how you get your saved replies this is how you can manage images or you know search your help docs if you want to create a link to a, a help doc article. So this is the old version, okay? We'll show you the new one here in just a second. Now anytime you're ready to switch to the new inbox, click on your profile image up at the top right and you should see this toggle switch to try the new inbox. Now I don't know if Help Scout is rolling this out to everyone right now or just uh, certain individuals but if you see this toggle switch to try the new inbox go ahead and switch that on and immediately you will be inside the new inbox first thing you're going to get is this pop-up box here you can watch this video if you want let's just click the got it button for right now all right everyone here is the new help scout inbox the first thing I love is this dark background, this dark purple background here in the navigation menu. Looks really good. It helps to contrast the links here, which show up a little easier. And like we said, we're now working inside of the inbox. It used to be called the mailbox. Now it's called the inbox, just a slight name change there. Over on the left, you'll see that the left side navigation is collapsed right now by default. This is great because it opens up a lot more room inside of our inbox. And whenever you point to anything over here, it will automatically expand the menu again so you can uh, see what you need to click on over here. Next, we want to show you this uh, toolbar here across the top. This is what's going to show you your status of your current message which right now it's active and so I love that it has this green background for active messages so that we can see right away the status of this message and I also love that 
when it's assigned to someone, you can also have your little profile image show up right here. So that's cool. And then next we have this menu button here, this, these three dots. Uh, this will expand a drop down menu that gives us lots of different options. And we just want to point out that anytime you see a keyboard shortcut here, all you have to do is press the key on your keyboard for that shortcut. You don't have to use control or shift or alt or anything like that. Just press the key on your keyboard for that shortcut. So for next conversation, all you have to press is the J key. If you want to go to a previous conversation, you just press the K. That's pretty cool. Uh, so that's where that uh, drop down menu is right there. Now, if you remember, uh, in the legacy mailbox, we showed you that in a conversation, the new messages always show up at the top. So in the new inbox, it's actually reversed, and I really like it. Any new message that, that we get is on the bottom. And it's very clean, very simple. There's no distractions. You can just see any of your new messages from either a team member through a note or from your customer. Any new messages for this conversation will be at the bottom. And that brings me to the next cool thing is that because our messages are at the bottom for the new message, when we scroll to the bottom, we have in big bold buttons, the two most important things for this conversation, because you're either going to use a note or you're going to reply to your customer. And instead of trying to find those little icons where we showed you in the legacy mailbox, now you have these two big buttons and you and if you use the keyboard shortcut, all you have to do is press the N or the R. Again, not, you don't have to use shift or control or anything like that. And this is really great. So the two main things we're going to do for this conversation are right here, easily accessible. We're either going to create a note or create a reply. So let's click on the reply button. And here's the brand new message editor. And the first thing you're going to notice, like I did probably, there's nothing here, right? It's, it's just a box, okay? <laughs> So what they've done is they've completely hidden the search bar and the toolbar. And now in order to access, uh, for example, your saved replies or uh, your knowledge base articles or anything like that, all you have to do is click this little button right here, this little plus button, and that will bring up the elements box. I'll show you that here in a second. What's even easier, is all you have to do is press the forward slash on your keyboard. Again, you don't have to use shift or control, just press the forward slash. And here is the uh, elements box. And everything that you need is inside of this box. So here's your docs links here, images, attachments, everything. In fact, you can use this search bar now to search for anything inside of here not just for articles or, or things like that. You can use this to search for anything you need. Now here's your saved replies. And all you have to do is click on this saved reply option and it will expand and show you all of your saved replies here on the list. This is cool. When you want to preview a saved reply, all you have to do is press the right arrow key while you're pointing. So if I point to signature, and press the right arrow key, it will immediately show me what this saved reply is going to look like. And now I can click the insert button to put that right into my message. I'm going to click the back arrow to go back to my list of saved replies. And now I'm going to use the search bar here and I'm going to search for my signature saved reply. So as I start typing, it's going to bring up any matching saved replies on the list like this. So I type in SIG and immediately my signature saved reply shows up. So I'm going to click on my signature and it's going to put that saved reply into my message 
editor right here. And that's it. It's all you have to do. So once I've created my message, I can save it as a draft or I can discard this message completely. Those are my two options. And then over here on the right, you can see that the status of this message is going to turn from active, like it is now, into pending once this message is sent. And pending messages, you can see, have this kind of light blue background behind them. Active messages are green, pending messages are light blue. You'll also see that this message is going to be assigned to me still, and I can change that if I want, but it's, it's still going to be assigned to me. And then I can go ahead and send this message right now. Or I can click on this arrow and bring up this extra menu right here with a few other options of what will happen after I click the send button. Right now, the current action or redirect is that this message will send and then go to the next active message. We can change that by just clicking here where it says change default redirect and we can set it to any of these three that we want. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and click the send and back to folder option, which is going to send the message and then bring me back to my folder right here. All right, we're going to check the box for this message that's uh, in our inbox. Now that we've responded and we've resolved the message or the conversation, we don't need it anymore. We're going to change the status to closed and that will remove it from our inbox and put it into the closed folder. So that's the brand new inbox. Now at any time, if you want to switch back for whatever reason, back to the legacy mailbox, which is what it's called, you can click up here on your profile image and you can see that you have the toggle switch now that says return to legacy mailbox. When we switch that over, the new inbox is turned off and everything goes back to the way it was. All right, so that is the demonstration of the new inbox. We hope you enjoyed that. We hope you found it useful. We love the new inbox. We Hope that it encourages you to switch over to the new inbox. Or if, again, if you don't have your Help Scout account, go to digitalsuccess.link forward slash Help Scout and get Help Scout today. Okay, we hope that you liked this video. And so we hope that you will like this video. And we hope that you will subscribe to our channel. We create tutorial videos and trainings like this one on our channel. So please subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone.